It is like an addiction, yeah, isn't well, it? Well, yeah. You, you what know, what is that need for speed? What you know, we humans, we need. It. What, what is that? Control. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I think it's more of a control thing. Um, you know, it's the excitement, the the competition. Um, it has a whole bunch of things going for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. All in um, all in one. All, all in one. So, but 190 miles an hour, you said, is the fastest you ever got yes. behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. So, what's that like? I mean. Well, your mind slows everything down. Um, you know, obviously, if you crash, you... Your mind won't be telling you much. No, well, it's amazing how much you can remember um, and how much you think you remember and you really don't. But, um, no, you're, you're, you, you get acclimated is probably the easiest way. You know, it's like getting acclimated to different temperatures and all. But you really do get acclimated and... Um, um, I mean, it's exciting, you know, I, I, things happen differently at those sorts of speeds just because of the aerodynamics and what the air does. Tell me what you're so, getting at. Um, well, you know, obviously if you're, as you're going by somebody, you get this, the side draft and you hear people that are into NASCAR, they'll talk about the side draft quite a bit. Well, all of a sudden you start taking air off one end of the car, whether it be the front or the back, you know, if you got a car behind you, it starts taking air off the back and it really does affect the, um, the amount of downforce that the car is making and that sort of thing. So, you know, those are things you have to be cognizant of. So you really need to be thinking the whole time. Yeah, and you you're... notice, you know, all of a sudden the cars, you're just kind of driving around, like for your place like Daytona when you're on the banking, you know, you're just kind of driving around, you're going pretty fast, and all of a sudden somebody gets behind you, and all of a sudden, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm really having to drive now. It's, uh, are, you, you know, so. are you a good street driver, or are you fast? Oh, no, no, I drive You're slow. a lead foot guy? No, slow? I, what? It's dangerous on the street. It is dangerous on the street. That is so true. But speeding tickets, no? No. Oh. I haven't had a speeding ticket in probably 40 years. So, so you really keep it on the track in its place when it's time. Well, I don't need to, and I'm a tightwad anyway, so I don't want my insurance rates going up and all that <laughs> stuff. So, much. <laughs> so, you know, you you were racing. You you did motorcycles. You did go karts. You did race cars, and so you've always been around motorsports. So then here came yes. this opportunity that the National Corvette Museum was going to open a motorsports park, and you thought, this is me. This is what I need to do. Well, actually, I was recruited. This is the fourth track that I've been involved with. Then prior to this, I was, um, prior to track management, I was the uh, vice president of professional racing for the Sports Car Club of America. And then prior to that is, was my racing career. Um, and so I was with SCCA for 10 years, um, got into, you know, so I'm on the other side of the circus. I'm on the organizer side of the circus. Um, and then I got into track management. The great thing about track management is I don't have to travel there as much. So you know, and I've heard you in other interviews. You reference it as the circus. Mm -hmm. well, it it's is like a circus. a circus. It is absolutely. Yeah. It's just you're you're on the road, and it's a family. You see the same people, and you know the the officials, and then the competitors, and all. And, and it it really is. You know, it's a love hate relationship, but it's you know it's a great family. Thank you so much. We've been talking with Mitch Wright, who is the general manager of the National Corvette Museum's Motorsports Park. We're coming to you from the Corvette Cafe at the National Corvette Museum. I'm Barbara Deeb. This is Coffee Near Me. And remember, you can continue the conversation in the comments section. Cheers. It's Thanks. Been fun. Yeah. <laughs>